Show Outside of Wildlife. The Animal Show! And now, let's have a wild welcome for... Your furry friends, Stinky and Jay! Hello, all you little animals out there. I am Stinky. And I am Jake. And today we're going to meet a cheetah and a gazelle. Ooh, cool. The cheetah and the gazelle live together on the plains of Africa. Oh, that's great. They're neighbors. Right. Only in this case, the cheetah sometimes has the gazelle for dinner. Oh, isn't that nice? They have dinner together. Uh, uh, not exactly, Stinky. You see, cheetahs mm -hmm. are predators and gazelles are prey. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, well, uh, predators eat the dinner, and prey are the dinner. Oh, well, that's yeah. very nice. What? What do you mean? Are you telling me that one of uh, our stinky. guests is going to eat St the stinky. other one? Stinky! This is terrible. Shh, relax. Now, relax. Relax. Okay. <laughs> Cheetahs and gazelles have been living together for hundreds of years. They have? But don't the gazelles get a little nervous? Only when the cheetah are hungry. You see, in the wild, animals don't eat each other for fun. They do it for food. Yeah, well, I still don't like them being in the same room together. Relax. No, it's not... Jake, it's my job to make sure that the cheetah does not eat that gazelle. But, so stinky, I'm gonna take care stinky. Of uh, uh, I'll try to calm him down while you watch this. And now it's time for... That's, that's amazing. amazing! Today, what does a gazelle do to warn others of danger? Oh, I know, I know, I know. Hey, uh, he yells, hey, you guys, let's get out of here. Now, gazelle don't yell, Armstrong. They prunk. They what? Hmm. Prunking is when a gazelle stiffens its legs and jumps in the air like that. And prunking is what a gazelle does when it is frightened or wants to tell other gazelle that there may be danger around. Ah, prunk, prunk, mm. prunk, prunk. Gazelles that prunk! Hey, yeah, uh, sounds like another one of those animal things that'll make you say, uh... That's amazing! Okay, now, Jake, if anything goes wrong, I'm gonna start pronking, okay? Uh, pronk, stinky. pronk, pronk. <laughs> stinky, I told you, everything will be fine. Now, just because one animal eats another animal some of the time doesn't mean they'll do it all of the time. Well, I still don't like having a cheetah and a gazelle on the same show. It'll be fine. Yeah. And now it's time to meet our first guest from the plains of Africa where he lives peacefully with the gazelle. Some of the time. Here he is, one of the fastest animals in the world, Swifty the cheetah. <laughs> I am the fastest. No one's faster than me. I am the fastest. Uh, well, how fast are you exactly? Oh, I'm faster than a race car. I'm quicker than a bee. Don't even put your sneakers on because you can't outrun me. Yeah, well, would you say you're faster than a gazelle? Oh, yes. Uh-oh. Uh... See, I think I smell a gazelle. Uh, uh, the gazelle? No, 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 there, there's no gazelle here. Must be that new, uh, that new gazelle cologne I'm wearing. <laughs> yeah, Two. just cologne. No, no, it's not you. There's gazelle here somewhere. Uh, 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 check, check. Uh, 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 Swifty, uh, do you think we might see you in action? Action? Now you're talking. Ah, uh, there we are. Just getting ready, getting Ooh. loose. Wow. We do a lot of stretching. It helps us stay limber. Now, isn't it true that you only eat when you're hungry, right? Of course. How do you think I stay so sleek and beautiful? Mm. See? There I am. <laughs> hey, I'm so quick. I'm walking and still nobody can catch me. You guys don't look that fast to me. Oh, we're just jogging out there. When we really get going, we can run up to 60 miles an hour. But we don't waste our real running on each other. Well, when do you really run? We run when we're chasing something. Uh, something like, like a what? A gazelle. <gasps> Oh, I was afraid he was going to say that. Uh, let's see some real running. Right, watch this. There, a gazelle. Uh-oh. And now, now it's running time. Oh, dear. Here I go. Wow, that is beautiful. Yeah, unless you're a gazelle. Yeah, you see the long, graceful stride? A cheetah's backbone is so flexible, it bends and stretches, even when we're in full run. Uh, Swifty, isn't it true that cheetahs only chase gazelles when it's feeding time? Oh, absolutely. Why would we want to chase them when we're not hungry? Most of the time, cheetahs and gazelles live together just fine. See, Stinky? Well, anyway, it looks like that gazelle... The gazelle got away, no, right? I don't oh, no. think so. No? Watch this. Uh, Here I come. Uh, Here I come, gazelle. Gotcha! 
No, oh, no, you haven't. He's gotten away. There he goes. <laughs> no, but, hey, but you missed the last part. Oh, that's all right. Um, be besides, I, I want to race with you. You do? Yeah. You race me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Prepare to eat cheetah dust, skunk. Uh, yeah, yeah, you, you start uh, us, Jake. Okay, Come on. okay. Uh, on your marks. Mm. Uh, uh, get set. Yep. Go. No, <laughs> I, I don't think Stinky understands that animals can live together peacefully, even when one sometimes <laughs> eats the other for dinner. Hey, uh, cheetahs don't eat skunks, do they? Uh, not that I've heard of. Beautiful. All right, can't catch me. Can I? Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, and now it's time for baby talk. Oh, it's a nice, peaceful day. I'm just going to sit out here and enjoy Mom, myself. Mom, Mom, I'm hungry. Uh, yeah, I'm me hungry. too, Mom. I'm hungry. What can we eat, Mom? Yeah, I can't eat anything. Yeah, me too. Hey, Mom, 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 do you want to fight? Nibble your ass. Yeah, nibble your ass. Don't nibble my ears, please. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. 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 Why um, me? Then how about your tail? Go on, make, make like a snake. I will pounce on it. How's this? Uh, not very good. Come try again, well, like a snake. Well, how's right. this? I'm gonna come over there, because I'm gonna uh, pounce. Uh, never mind. Yeah. Oh, come on, Mama, Mama, play. Yeah. We wanna play, please. Yeah, we wanna play. Well, yeah, uh, we're hungry. Please? Oh, say, why don't you go over there and play in the leaves? Oh, okay, oh, okay sure, okay, yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, okay. Here we come. Oh, hey, yeah, come oh, over yeah, here, guys. Great leaves. Yeah, well, well, leaves. Leaves? leaves. Well, there, I don't see any leaves. leaves. Well, there used to be some leaves. There aren't there any more, leaves. Leaves. There aren't any. How can we play if there aren't any leaves? Sorry. And we're still hungry. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So much for getting some rest. That poor Mama Cheetah, she'll never get a rest. <laughs> oh, boy, that Twifty the Cheetah sure is fast. I told you, Stinky. Oh, but I know just how to keep a fast animal busy. How? Fast food. Stinky. Have you got any money for burgers, Jake? When I'm feeling sort of down, when I'm feeling cross, adored or bored or just ignored, or scared or kind of lost, it can happen anytime, anywhere I guess. I hear a voice inside my head, and this is what it says. You need a sweet, sweet, sweet little treat. Something fun to nibble, to make your middle giggle. Sweet, sweet, sweet little treat. A delicious little tidbit of yummy snack to eat. If your heart is in the dumps, or if you're feeling hurt, don't feel blue when dinner's through. Remember, there's dessert. And if the day seems gloomy, not going like it should, a teensy bite of sweet delight will do a world of good. Sweet, sweet, sweet little treat. Something fun to nibble, to make your middle giggle. Sweet, sweet, sweet little treat. Something swell to munch on, chew or suck or crunch on, have one or have a bunch of gooey sticky treats to eat. Something swell to munch on, chew or suck or crunch on, have one or have a bunch of gooey sticky treats to eat. Hey! See, Stinky, wild animals don't eat fast food. Or they don't? No. Gee, sometimes I don't understand wild animals. Yeah, they feel the same way about you. <coughs> oh. Hey, Tiz, what's buzzing? Time for a quiz? It sure is! Ooh. Oh, boy. <laughs> the question is, what do tigers, bees, and ants have in common? Give it a think. I'll be back in a buzz! <laughs> so, did you guess? That's a hard one, Tizzy. Yeah, could you run that by us again? Sure! The question is, what do tigers, bees, and ants have in common? The answer, they all use smells to keep in touch and communicate with their friends. Believe it! You see, we bees use smell to talk to each other. These bees are following the smell of their queen bee, who has been flying around looking for a place to start a new hive. When the queen bee stops to rest on a tree like this one, all the other bees stop with her, until there are more bees than tree. Oh, I think those are some of my relatives. Hey, save some honey for me. And ants use smell 
trying to tell if other ants are part of their nest. These ants are going out to find food. They leave a trail behind that other ants can smell. Then those other ants can go right to where the food is. Let's hope there's a big meal at the end of this trail. Just look at all of those ants. Thanks to that trail, ants can travel far away from their nest and always find their way back home. Bees and ants can tell by the smell. Believe it, because it's true. Skunks use smell to communicate. Oh, I know. Yeah, here's how we say, go away. Uh, no, 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 hmm? no not now. Uh, no? And, and don't you go away either, because it's time for Eve Saint La Roche. Bonjour, bonjour, all your cute little species and subspecies out there. Now, today I want to talk about fast food. Yes, fast food. Now, the one thing about fast food is that uh, if you want to eat it, you have to be fast enough to catch it. Mm. So I, Yves Salaroch, have designed some special exercises to help you keep in shape. Now, right, here we go. Now, all you animals up on your four, six, and eight legs. And music maestro, please! Right, here we go. We'll start with the legs. Ready? And up. Lift, down, lift, down. Good. And turn your tail around, around, and put your legs back on the ground. Very good. Try again. Now, we will add the head into this. First, we get the legs going. Ready? Legs going. And turn your head from left or right. You'll look a very silly sight. Up and down, up and down, turn your head around, around. Oh, this exercise puts me in the dizzy, it makes me feel very dizzy. But come on, animals, don't be slow. We go, we go, we go, we go. And heft your shell and lift your mane and turn your feet and hoof your bell and put your feet down on the ground. And keep this up and you'll be fit. Chase your food and never quit. Well, bon appétit, mon ami. And remember, it is better to eat and run than to run and eat. Sacre bleu. And now it's time for our next guest. From the plains of Africa, the quick and graceful... Tommy the Thompson's Gazelle. Woo! Can I come out now? It's all, it's all clear? Wait. Do you smell a cheetah? Oh, don't worry, Tommy. You'll be fine. Oh, I'm, I'm not worried. I, I just want to make sure I know where that cheetah is. Oh, there was a cheetah here, but he's not here now. Uh, I knew there would be trouble. Oh, oh, I'm fine around cheetahs, just as long as I have a warning. Mm -hmm. I, I really don't mind. I... You don't mind, but he's a cheetah. You're a gazelle. He's the diner and you're at a dinner. Well, that's the way it's always been. Now look at it this way. Cheetahs and gazelles have been living together for thousands of years. No, wait, wait, stop there. Look what? at that, you see? What is it, Stinky? Well, there's a cheetah right in the middle of all those gazelles. Mm. Oh, that happens all the time. But I thought you and the cheetah were enemies. Well, you see, Stinky, those cheetah may be very, very fast, but they can't run that fast for very long. If we can avoid them for about, oh, 20 seconds, they usually have to stop and rest. But what about the baby gazelles? Oh, don't worry. Well, we wouldn't do anything to put our young gazelles in danger. At least until they learn to stand upright and run like Gazelle. He's very, very cute. Yeah, that's my uh, nephew, Nicky. Oh. Hey, Nicky. Oh, keep your eyes open, Nicky. There might be a cheetah around there. Oh, he'll be fine. Oh. Well, yeah. besides tiring them out, how else do Gazelle protect themselves from cheetahs? Yeah, cheetahs are real fast. Mm. I know, I just raced one and I was eating cheetah dust. Well, you see, Stinky, when a cheetah comes sneaking up on us... Well, what do you do? What do you do? Well, we run. Good idea. Yeah, but we all run off in a dozen different directions. And by the time he picks one of you to chase... Yeah, <laughs> there's a good chance he'll be too tired to run, and he'll give up. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, look, that one's pronking. Yeah. Very well done, Tommy. <sighs> well, we gazelles have a lot of practice avoiding cheetahs. Wait, well, I smell a cheetah. I think that cheetah's close. Oh, I was so hoping to sing a song. Uh, tell you what, Tommy, we'll watch for the cheetah and you sing. Yeah. Oh, hey, thanks a lot. Okay. <laughs> and um, now, Tommy the Thompson's gazelle singing Safety in Numbers. As far as the eye can see 
Stretching from here to infinity The young and the old and the lame Live in a herd so they all feel the same They know safety in number Means peaceful in slumber Safety in numbers, that's the name of the game. When you're a Thompson's gazelle, you catch every sound and you catch every smell. You can run like a bull from the blue. So can a cheetah, here's what to do. You get safety in numbers Means peaceful in slumber Safety in numbers Gonna see us through Safety in numbers Gonna see us through Well, I think Tommy the Gazelle is in the clear now. How come? Because the cheetah is a finalist in today's Animal Awards. Mm. That should keep him busy. Mm. That's right, Jake. The cheetah is one of the finalists for today's Animal Award. For the fastest runner on four legs. Mm. Who will win? The lion? The cheetah? Or the gazelle? Mm. Yeah. In third place, the lion. In second place, the gazelle. Mm, so the fastest runner on four legs is the cheetah. <laughs> Congratulations to the cheetah. <sighs> the cheetah is faster than the gazelle. Uh, why don't I read you a story? Well, maybe that'll take my mind off yeah. this cheetah and gazelle problem. Um, what's the story about? A uh, cheetah and some gazelles. Then again, maybe not. <clears throat> uh, once upon a time, there was a cheetah who liked to walk among the gazelles. Now, the cheetah was fast, but this cheetah didn't chase the gazelles. He just watched them. Well, at first, some of the gazelles couldn't believe it. They kept thinking that the cheetah was going to chase them. It made them nervous, but he'd call out, It's okay, gazelles. Calm down. I'm not going to chase you. I promise. Now, some of the gazelles felt a little sorry for the cheetah. Hey, listen, cheetah, one of them said. You can chase us just a little bit, as long as you don't catch us. But the cheetah just kept right on walking. Thank you, said one of the gazelles. We never met a neater cheetah, said another. But a third gazelle just had to ask, tell me, Mr. Cheetah, why don't you want to chase us? That's easy, said the cheetah. I'm not hungry. The end. So you see, Stinky, cheetahs and gazelles can live together. Yeah, but what are those gazelles going to do when the cheetah gets hungry? What they've always done. Run! Smell for danger, run, run. 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 For danger, Ollie, uh, run, Ollie, run. It's time for you to what? Smell for danger, run, <laughs> run. Ollie! <laughs> what is it, Armstrong? You don't have to yell, you know. Ollie, I hate to tell you this, but it's... Uh... Habitat time? <gasps> yeah. I trust all of this exercise and had nothing whatsoever to do with where we're going. We're going to the African plains where lions and cheetahs live. So I thought I'd get in shape in case we have to run. Oh, no. <laughs> oh yes, African oh, plains, here we come. Ah, here we are at the African plains. Is it time to start running? Uh, we haven't even seen the animals yet. Yes. You know, a lot of different kinds of animals live on the African plains. Yeah, not chicken hawks. No, but giraffes live here. Oh. They may seem slow, but they are very graceful. And their long legs help them to run very fast. Oh, long legs. Mm. Yeah. 
And there are members of the deer family here, like these animals called topies. Topie. And there are many members of the dog family here too, like foxes and jackals. Hey, you know, any animal that lives out here really has to be able to take care of themselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-oh. What? What? I think there's gonna be trouble. No, there's no trouble. They're just all kind of hanging out there together. And... Wait a minute. Mm. Woo! Hey, hey. I don't think they like that jackal hanging around when they've got that little baby there. Oh. That must be Dad. He must be mad. And that rhymed. Yeah! Oh, almost got him. Yeah, let me try it. Woof. It's like a barking noise. Sort of, yeah. Woof. <laughs> And there's a family of cheetahs. Oh. Good thing they're just resting. Mm. Hey, here's a hyena. They're sometimes called the laughing hyena because of their laughter-like call. Oh, like this. <laughs> um, not quite. Well, close, though. But look, canoes. Uh, what's canoes with you? <laughs> Those <laughs> are canoes, which are sometimes called wildebeests. And there's one of the most dangerous animals here. You mean that big friendly cow there? That's no cow. That's an African buffalo. If they charge you with their sharp horns, it's time to run! Run! Oh, oh, for habitat time, I'm Molly the Tapir. Hey, and I'm Armstrong the Chicken Hook. And we'd love to stay longer, but... Yeah, but we gotta run. Gotta run! <laughs> <laughs> Ready when you are, Tizzy. Yeah, hit us with a quiz, Tiz. Sure, Tiz. This baby gazelle was just born. The question is, can it stand up by itself even though it's a brand new baby? Give it a think. I'll be back in a buzz. Ready for the answer? I'm still ready for the question. Yeah, can we hear it again, Tiz? Here it is! Can a baby gazelle stand right after it's born? The answer is yes! It can stand and even run five minutes after it's born. Believe it! Thank you, Tizzy, for another quiz. And thank you, Ollie and Armstrong. Bye! <laughs> and you too, Eve. Au revoir! <clears throat> And a special thanks to Swifty the Cheetah and Tommy the Thompson's Gazelle. Say, are you two okay? Are you hungry? No, I just want to go home. Oh, me too. I hate being out of Africa. See, everything worked out fine. Like I always said it would. Like you always said. Oh, never mind. Until next time, to all you little animals out there, keep on flapping, swimming, jumping, and running. Bye-bye. So long. <laughs>